Come back out with this boy here today. We got ourselves a little home site here. Some nice wide open field. This is where we left off on the last one, so wish us luck. <sighs> well, this ain't turning out as good as we expected. Tons and tons of iron. I don't know if this place has been hit before or what, but Hunter finally got on something. He said he got an Indian. I think it's an 1883. Oh, cool. Well, at least it's something. I'll take that over nothing. I think this is close to where I got that V nickel, so. Mid 1800s coins still. Could be. All right, we're going to keep hammering at it. All right, I think I got an Indian. It hit like one. Yeah, that's a nice shape, too. 1881. Damn, that thing's like real nice. Yeah, there we go. 1881. Oh, going forever. I got a button. It looks pretty too. It's a flat button and it actually has something on it. Oh yeah? Yeah, it's a pretty little flower flower button nice that deserves a little show and tell all right fix now I just pulled that out. Thought I had a copper, but I see a shank. Might be the infamous G dub. Is it a George Washington inauguration button? We shall see right now. Oh, there's something on it. I see a circle in the middle. Please. 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 G dub me. Dub me. I see something coming through there. Oh yeah, I do see it. I'll give it a rub a dub. Nope. Just a little circle spiral. Still. Ride the spiral. Spiral out. Keep on going. <sighs> All right, we changed locations and I just pulled this up. No, well, going forever. <laughs> Man, that thing flew. I don't know where it went. Uno momento, por favor. There it is. All right, let's see what this is. It's kind of odd shaped. I think it's gonna be a button. That's a cool little button. Yeah, that's a button. It's like octagon. Ah, I just pulled that out, another one. Right. So, uh, we're checking a new field out. Two buttons within two minutes. I think I got a half re or a half dime here. I just flipped that up. Oh, this might be dime size. Yeah, it's dime size. Don't be a barber. No, it hit low for a silver dime. It's going to be seated or capped. It's a Merc dime. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Oh, my God, that dude. That sucks. Oh, it's so dark. 
Sorry I walked you up here for That's a mart. That's all right. It's still better than half the stuff we've seen all day. Is it at least an older mark? Merc? It looks like it. It's, it's pretty white. Black. Sorry. Dang it. I can't tell. Let me see if I can zoom. Let me see if I can see it. It's a 18. 19, 18? Yep. Well, that's not bad. Let's see if there's a mark. Yeah, she's wiped. Pulled that out. Nice little fancy buckle. That's early. No, well, maybe not. It's pressed. It's still cool. Has a cool de design. All right. Ah, where'd it go? I just flipped this up. I think it's gonna be a V nickel the way it hit. Ah, oh, dude! Real nice shield nickel. I don't know, I'm cleaning it up. It's got the stars and bars, or stars and rays. Clean that up later, but yeah, that's gonna be a nice one. Take that. <sighs> maybe another coin, maybe another button. I don't know. Yeah. What do we got? We got an Indian. Small scent. Oh, we. bring the uh, Civil War soldiers up the uh, Pennsylvania Canal here. Hunter just got a, I believe it's a, a Spencer carbine, Civil War era rifle. And then I don't think that's as old, but cool. Let's keep going. Pulled that bad Larry out. That's early. That's a piece off of a uh, uh, harness for a horse. It's part of the bit, I believe. Yeah, that sounded good. All right. <laughs> no days complete unless you have a little D. 
so cute. The littlest D ever. And I have one. Next signal. Look at that honker. That's a musket ball there. That's a big boy. Imagine that going through you. Whew, that would hurt. I just found a little shed. Uh oh, I cut myself. Yeah, it happens. I'll live. I just ran into a little graveyard here. Down in the middle of the field. And I just dug this. No, I'm not in the graveyard. It is a little sash buckle, I believe. I will take it. Cool. I don't know, it's really wet in here. Hunter just yelled out and said he has a copper. Yeah, I've been seeing little pieces of pottery and stuff. Mostly up beside that graveyard. There's one, one thing knocked off the list for the day. Well, at least you got one. Oh, yeah. nice, dude. Can I thumb it? Yeah, go for it. All right. Get a little detail off of it. Man, my hands are cold. A little nipply out today. We'll definitely get something off of that. Let her dry out. Right there. That's KG2. Oh, yeah? Yep. Nice. See, there's the King George. And this way, Britannia. She's gone, but you can see old Georgie's head right there. Ooh. Nice. There's his nose and there's the top of his little laurel wreath. Nice, man. Cool. Been a long while since I dug a buff. Oh, it's going forever. <coughs> yeah. Finally, I got something. I'll take it. just pulled this up out. and uh we're in a field where that's us oh yeah i'm surprised because a lot of british coppers have come out of here it's probably a major i'm gonna say major oh no it's a draped nice oh yeah i was gonna say it we haven't got any. It definitely be higher than that British did. Later, it's gonna be half decent too. Yep, there's her head. Date's gonna be right here. Let's see if we can get a date quick. Yeah. We'll clean that up later. I'll get a good shot of it. I will not want to thumb it up too much for him. I just dug a tiny, tiny, tiny silver. I don't know what it is yet. Ooh, buddy. But Early it, American, come on, baby. It hit exactly 20 on the knocks. I'm hoping it's a cat bust, or a drape bust, or a flowing hair. But come here, baby, come on. that is 100% a small silver. If it's Spanish, I'm okay with that too. Comes a pop. Spanish. Well, I'm not 100%. I'm going to clean it up and I'll be right back. I kind of wish Hunter would have found this. He has not found a Spanish yet. I just cleaned it up in the creek. 1785 or 7. I will clean it up better when I get home and give you pics. But there you go. Half real, baby.
They look pretty similar. Mm, I don't know if that's a shoe buckle or not. I don't know what the hell it is. Otherwise, um, what's that? it's pretty darn big for what it is. But I don't know how big they get. It, it could be. I don't know. I don't know what that is, bud. We'll let the ex let up the expert. It might be a shoe buckle. Yeah, Whoa. there's where the pin would have went right there. That is a big fucking shoe. Sorry, a big freaking shoe buckle. That's exactly what it what is. What the hell's that thing while you're here? Any ideas? Uh, it's a piece of an escutcheon off of furniture. Okay. Just fancy Decorative furniture. Yeah. Furniture. Yeah. Hunter is on fire, man. Another copper. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. <laughs> Just think, man, this place is beat compared to what it used to be. Another to add to the box. That's UMS. And. She might be about halfway from the front. Yeah, it's hard to tell. I can't see much. I'll too thick it later. Um. There's one cent this way, it flips this way. I think there's gonna be something that'll come through after it dries out. All right, cool. But yep. Another. Another. We'll take it. Just pulled out this nice little saddle strap guide. Oh man, hands are cold, my nose is running. Hunter's sick. We're pushing it today, guys. I might have some fancy on. I'll clean that up later. That's that is a little saddle strap guide. All right, on the way to the truck. I'm hoping I at least get one copper today. I just pulled out this teeny weensy little teeny tiny flat button. My only button of the day. I cannot believe that. I usually dig tons of buttons. Nice little silver washed flatty. I need some ocean. So old hands from dry as heck. Well, here's Hunter's Drake bust. We're on the way home. Like always, I don't film at all, but I'll start with the the good stuff. Yeah, I'll start with the bad stuff first. That's none of it's bad, but you know what I mean. There's a D buckle, some buttons. That token turned out pretty cool. Um, I found a super super solution. It's called Loctite Naval Jelly Rust Dissolver. Works great on aluminum stuff try it out really really clean that up to almost new condition and I'm going to try it on some buttons too I tried it on this one which had hardly any gold gilting left on it but it turned out really nice there's that beautiful Spanish silver let me turn that around for you here you can see old Carlos spelled Corollas, but it's King Charles the Third, 
18, or no, 1787 over five. I can't tell the last number. <clears throat> the beautiful Indians. The luscious, well, not so luscious Merc Dime 18S. The sweet little shield nickel with stars and bars. Sorry, I dropped my phone. Look at that beautiful back. It is an 1863, I believe, second year. The old buff. Couple nice buckles, saddle strap guides. I like that sash buckle, it had some real nice fancy on it. The gag loop. Big old dandy. The dandy boys. We're back in town. All right, nice little piece of shoe buckle there. But yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And as always, happy hunting.